to another jarring science experiment. Today, we're going to be making fizzing candy canes. We're going to answer the question, can we make a candy cane fizz if we use baking soda and vinegar? Here's what you need. Three jars, more if you want to do more candy canes, three candy canes, some baking soda, a plate, a pipette, some water, and some vinegar. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to do is unwrap the candy cane. Okay, we have our unwrapped candy canes. We have a green one, a blue one, and a red one. Then you smell delicious. Next, we're gonna dip our candy canes into our water. Don't let them sit for too long. A little dip is all you need. Now we're going to sprinkle our candy canes with the baking soda. Get them nice and coated. If you've ever made fried chicken, it's a similar process. Now we have our coated candy canes. Now we're going to put a candy cane into each of our jars. Now watch the magic happen. Take your vinegar. Dip in your pipette and sprinkle it on your candy cane. Do you hear the fizz? Now we'll do it for our other jars. Give it a little shake if you like. is a base. Vinegar is an acid. If you're familiar with the pH scale, you'll know that bases and acids don't mix well. When they do mix, they create a chemical reaction. When you mix baking soda and vinegar, the byproduct of this reaction is carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide is what you breathe out. Carbon dioxide is lighter than air. So when the reaction occurs, the gas rises. In this experiment, the gas bubbles get trapped in with the vinegar and the sugar molecules making bubbles. When the bubbles pop, the gas escapes, the candy cane melts, and you have a fizzy candy cane. See you next time.